But what we are up against in trying to resolve this problem, what the police are up against, those who deal in treatment and prevention are up against, is a culture that since the 1960s has at the minimum not encouraged drug use and often romanticized it. Romanticized it or made it uh, cool, made it acceptable. And look, I, I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't, as a father, I don't, uh, I don't say all these things blamelessly. You know, I, my son is uh, listening to my Beatles records and asking me what all these lyrics mean. And, um, you know, it's, it's just there. It's out there. I love these records. Uh, I'm not putting them away. But that said, the reality is that uh, there has been a culture that has not fought drug use. And that's what we're all up against. Uh, no uh, easy solutions to that. But we have seen, in the case of tobacco, a shift in the culture in a way that has rendered tobacco use less and less uh, socially or culturally acceptable. Um, I think we need to do the same thing. In fact, we need to do it much, uh, much more quickly and much more critically in the area of, uh, in the area of narcotics. Uh, but uh, we all have a long way to go, and we recognize that. We'll, uh, we'll keep, you know, we're launching a strategy here. We've learned from some strategies of the past. We'll keep improving our methods.